Western civilization historically considered swamps to be places of evil where demons spread disease, misery, and death. Swamps have suffered more nature-hating behavior than any other habitat on Earth. The average citizen in mid-19th century America held the local swamp in about as high esteem as rattlesnakes, wolves, and chicken hawks. It was your civic duty to drain the swamp and to put the land to a useful purpose, such as farming. We were a nation of farmers who wanted to till every inch of available land. By eliminating swamps, men could show off their survival skills in the most wild, impenetrable, and dangerous place on Earth. Even today, people have an emotional reaction to swamps. You might have seen the widely successful reality shows on TV that, that feature the swamp people or the survival man. Even more viewers watch TV when the participants are in the show Naked and Afraid, surviving the danger of the wet wilderness. Alternatively, swamps are romanticized. If swamps could be said to have a patron saint, it would be the 19th century philosopher and poet Henry David Thoreau. For Thoreau, the swamp is the strength and marrow of nature. The strength of nature did not lie in the hard bones of dry land, but rather in the soft marrow of the wetlands. Thoreau called the wetlands the liqueur of nature, which feeds the body. The very sight of this half-stagnant pond hole drying up and leaving bare mud is agreeable and encouraging to behold, as if it contained the seeds of life, the liqueur rather boiled down. The foulest water will bubble purely. Hope and the future for me are not in lawns and cultivated fields, not in towns and cities, but in the impervious and quaking swamps. I enter a swamp as a sacred place. A town is saved, not more by the righteous men in it than by the woods and swamps that surround it. From a scientific viewpoint, wetlands are important for many reasons. They prevent flooding by holding water, much like a sponge. They accept water during storms when water levels are high and slowly release it when water level is low. Wetlands are important for groundwater exchange. They control erosion, slowly releasing food into the ecosystem. And many ma animals live in wetlands, especially during migration and reproduction. Some of the values associated with wetlands are personal and are yours alone, whether they be recreation, nature photography, birding, or simply quiet time in a restful place. Until next time, peace.
Look, Quartermain. Up ahead, a great village. And warriors pouring out of the gates. 